I'm Gemma Kearney, and this time on The Sound Odyssey, I'm in Ethiopia, East Africa. We brought London-based saxophonist and composer, Nubaya Garcia, to the capital, Addis Ababa, for an Ethio jazz collaboration. You just said two years ago, like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna go to Addis and you're gonna play with local musicians who are like the legends here. Yeah, I would have not believed you because I hadn't even started a band two years ago. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you all. Abi Osman, the wonderful. The varying rhythms, the kind of harmony, the the like telltale sound. Do you know what I mean? Like it's instantly recognisable as Ethiopian jazz and. I don't think there's anything like it. This is the beginning of the Sound Odyssey uh, in terms of the challenge element. The, the Odyssey has begun. This is your first time in Ethiopia, but this is where it gets a bit more serious. Some say for Western ears, this, this could sound a bit dark. What do you think, Nubea? As musicians, is we've, we've got like a higher threshold for dark scales, if you know what I mean, but I mean, to you guys, does that sound super dark? It's just, to me, it sounds like super, like it's just loads of expression. Shall we all together? Yeah. <laughs> I am really interested in the etiquette of jamming, because I've got this romantic notion that it's just a beautiful, fun, organic thing. People think that there, it's just like a kind of free-for-all. You converse together. It is a conversation at the end of the day, and there has to be a feeling of respecting each other's voice on stage. So you can't really like blast in and play over someone in a disrespectful way. challenged earlier in a very relaxed way yeah. but to jam live on stage how are you feeling about that I mean I'm excited we'll see how it goes because sometimes like it just doesn't fit in with what they plan for the for the show and and if it does I do get up then we'll, we'll see what happens I'm very excited she's now got fans I've seen a lot of jazz in my time and you just got it, girl. Thanks so much. You got it. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing your time with us tonight. Thanks so much. It's really nice. Thank you. Since the ETO jazz in particular uh, involves a lot of improvisation, it has a, a lot of room for, for various cultures to come in. People playing or experiencing the ETO jazz from, uh, coming from various cultures have added uh, flavors. flavors to it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's welcome. Genuine thoughts, Nibaya. Super pleased. We just came in and did it, really. And to like, yeah, go in there and make a tune with people that you don't know. That's what we play music for, really. And what did you think about the poetry add-on? Oh my today? god, that was amazing. I want to do more. She's incredible. Yeah. I'm so glad that she was free and here and able to do it and brought all the fire that she did. It was really beautiful and very poignant. Our bedtime stories did not involve princesses or knights on horses, no. We were raised to fear the sound of the hyena. A wound I will add. Thank you for letting us in. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly, it feels like such a privilege to be here. You guys are incredible. Bad luck and Juju did not run away by knocking on wood. It's just made me want to delve further into this genre of music and really learn more. Like that harmony and that uh, tonal world will come back with me, I think. Well, it's not a luxury to have art in your life and it's not a luxury to have a community in your life. So that. That just needs to be everywhere. <laughs> yeah.